This is the story of the giant and the trous. See, there's a peaceful giant who lived in the Kames in Shetland near Vaux. And he had a blessed life, apart from every night when the sun went down, the magical creatures of the trows came up. Like trolls, but with three feet in height, they live under the ground. And at night time, they revel on the earth. And they tormented this poor giant as part of their funds. They would climb over his sleeping body and lift up his eyelids and slap them on his eyes. Or they'd swing on his nose hairs or yell into his lugs, into his ears and waken him up every night. And he'd have to chase them back and they'd run down the hill and hide in the trowy halls. Well, the poor giant had had enough. So he made a plan. One night he got a kishi, a basket and he lay under his body and lay hiding it, pretending to sleep. And that night when the trows came up from their hidden homes under the earth and started their usual mischief to waken up the giant, he lay still. So when they slapped his eyelids down or yelled in his lug or swung on his nose hairs, he didn't move. And the trows got worried that something had happened to their large frames. They all stood around his nostrils, waiting to see if the giant was still breathing. So the giant held his breath. And eventually dozens and dozens of all the trows were all stood in one spot. And this is when the giant moved. He sat up suddenly and he wicked his kishi underneath all the trows and held it shut. And his plan was to carry it over the North Sea to Norwa, to Norway, and release the trows there to be rid of them for once and all. But when he went to lift the kishi, it was that full of trows he couldn't get it on his back. So instead he started to drag this woven basket up the hill, looking where he was going. But as he was dragging it up the hill, the kishi ricked on the rocks and heather, creating a hall in the kishi. And the hall grew and grew until it was big enough for the trows to climb out of and roll away, silently laughing down the hill. So by the time the giant got to the top of the hill where he was going to just place the kishi on the back from the height, he had no idea it was completely empty. So when the giant put all his might into hauling up the kishi, instead, with all the energy, he propelled himself forward and landed in the opposite hill. His knee fell and made a great big gully we can knee fell today. And his foot created a loch of pitta water, which if you look into it, you can still see the indents of the giant's toes. But the giant did find peace at last, for he himself moved over to Norwa. And they say if you go to Pitta Water to this day at night time, you can hear the trows dancing around, laughing and singing still to this night.